and say, ah, God is going to speak to the pandemic, and he's going to tell the pandemic to be still, Lord have mercy, hallelujah, but right now, I 
and I know keep six feet away. Lord, have mercy. All you got to do is do those three things. Amen. Now they're trying to come up. See, that's what I'm talking about, how they bring fear about. They're trying to come up with some people don't even get symptoms and have the coronavirus. That's why you got to trust God. Amen. That's why you got to believe God. Because, see, these news reporters will have you crazy. Like <laughs> you going down. See, Trump said that the, the news reporters was the devil. <laughs> oh, see. <laughs> he said that was the devil. And they have you crazy if you believe everything that they write. That's so true. They say now, get in your eyes. You got to cover your eyes. I told my husband, I say, I've been covering my eyes for years. I wear eyeglasses. <laughs> Hallelujah. They come up with some of everything. If you don't trust God, you'll be schizophrenic. You'll be crazy. Absolutely. But when you trust God and believe God, God will bring you out. God will move for you. God will fight your back. That's the word. That's the word. That is the word. Let's go to Matthew's the eighth chapter. Verse 25. Oh, we read, we, we did that already. Read that 27 verse. But the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the winds and the sea obey him? Look, people think you crazy when God moves for you, when God fights your battle, when God bring you out. They think you crazy. They don't know what's going on with you. Beautiful overseer, beautiful teacher. Lord have mercy, but I serve a God that'll bring you out every time. And as some say, if you don't, I still know he's able. He's able. He's able. Let's go to Luke. Zacchaeus saw him, he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. Or Zachariah, I'm sorry. When Zachariah saw him, he was he was troubled, and fear fell upon him. Amen. Fear fell on Zachariah when he saw the angel. I guess Zachariah didn't know if the angel was coming for him or not. Amen. But we fear when we see certain things. Amen. It, it, sometimes it's not so much of a fear, it's astonishment. Because we see how God is moving. I can imagine, probably when you went out to get that car, you, you probably say, I don't know if you going to get this. And I'm going. I'm going in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe she hasn't felt that way, but I sure did. I felt that way before. I said, I start thinking about this and thinking about that. And Thoughts. What's Thoughts. going on with this? And yeah. What's going on with that? And I gotta do this. And I gotta do that. You know, I ain't gonna be able to get this. But then when you go, I say, but I'm going anyway. I'm going in the name of Jesus. Amen. 
It's like David. David didn't take no armor with him. Didn't take nothing with him but five stones and a slingshot. Say, I'm going. And David went. That's all he needed out the five was one. Just need one. That's all he needed. Took five just in case. <laughs> David knew that God was by his side. Preach, preach. Lord, have mercy. I tell you, take them with you everywhere you go. Make sure God is with you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I could imagine when she got to that car deal. I don't know about her, but I, I, I've been in this before. I've been shaking, I've been nervous. And, boy, have mercy, they're going to turn me down. Amen. They ain't going to let me get this. Thoughts. They ain't going to let me get that. Thoughts. Lord, have mercy. As pastor saying, they thoughts. Yeah. Thoughts will bring about fear. Yeah. 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 Thoughts. Lord, have mercy. Hallelujah. But then when they come and say, here's your key. <laughs> there it is, there it is. No, there it is, right. there it is. Hey! You got your car. Hallelujah. Lord have mercy. I'll tell you. He said, look, he went looking for a house. Amen. And all the while, he said, I ain't going to get it. I ain't going to get it. I ain't going to get it. Man, it's best to know what I'm talking about. Lord, have mercy. But then she found herself sitting across the table. Yeah, yeah. With her closing cards. Closing for the house. Yeah. When she got finished signing her paper, yeah. they said, he know you. Amen. And had 
come for the church. The enemy tried to keep us out of it. But we yet and still here. We here. It was designed for us to only make it for a couple of years. But God has brought us through 15. what he's doing and what he's going to do and how he's going to do it. I don't care what you're going through, what you've been through. God is able to bring us out of it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I ask you to touch mother, touch her in her body. God, send your healing virtue. Let it flow, let it penetrate right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I decree healing right now by faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank mm -hmm. you. 